Welcome back to that dead guy here in the frozen tundra, or at least that's what it feels like. There is so much snow outside and it's minus 18 today with the wind chill, it's minus 30. So it is very cold. I want to give a special shout out to those in PEI who just got hit with a giant snowstorm. And uh, there are going to be a couple days getting dug out from all of that. And there's been power outages there. There's been power outages in Nova Scotia from the snowstorm that hit on Friday. Uh, so hopefully everybody is staying safe and well, and uh, that will recover quickly. I hear that Quebec will be getting hit with a snowstorm today, or into tonight, so it will make uh, things difficult on Monday morning, and uh, hopefully uh, everyone stays safe and well. It's what we have to deal with here in Atlantic Canada, or in Canada in general, in the wintertime. Um, we get cold weather and we get snow. Some years are better than others, like last year we hardly got any snow in uh in Moncton anyways. I can't speak for the whole country because uh, the patterns are different elsewhere. And I know Nova in uh, the United States, they get hit with snowstorms too. Um, their weather, in, especially in the Northern States is very similar to ours. So stay safe everybody here in, in the winter time. And for those of you in Mexico or Abu Dhabi or <laughs> Egypt, Japan, um, enjoy your nice weather. Uh, very envious of your uh, balmy temperatures and uh, your ability to still be in t-shirts in some places. So uh, yeah, today is going to be a day for uh, writing a few more postcards. I had two more that uh, arrived at their destination, so I have two more that I can send out. So I'm gonna show you that. I have a few postcards that I'm gonna send out as uh, swaps or uh, surprise cards that are heading out too. I also wanted to show you, before going further, I got these from Amazon. They're plastic inserts to protect your cards. I will talk about them uh, when I talk about the sorting video, but I used to use these ones. Let me just pop one out here from uh, Staples. I put my cards in that, but I found there's so much wasted space around them that uh, unless your card arrives and it's a four by seven, it doesn't really fit in that. So oversized cards don't fit well, but in these, new ones you've got so much more space so it is really good and the price is really really decent too so I got two packs of those they're 50 in a pack and I got them off of Amazon so if you're looking at places to put your uh, your postcards I know some of you store them in the boxes and we'll get into all that in the video uh, I've asked for input on and uh, hopefully you're still thinking about doing that and uh, sending something off to my email which I'll have below that shows how you sort your postcards and how you store them either your uh, your blank ones or your uh, ones to uh, that you've received in the mail so I look forward to those and we'll put all that together and I'll show you how I do mine uh, for those of you who've been watching the videos uh, over the months you certainly see how I do store mine but I'll show you all again in this video so let's get to what I've got going out today and so the first one I got off was for Germany and uh, they say she likes to write letters she has 13 pen pal friendships she likes to read and she likes coloring books um, she is married she's in a small town in Germany and has an adult son she likes all types of postcards uh, Thomas Kincaid the little mole anything about the sea and she likes to be surprised. And for her son, she likes postcards with otters. So I chose this one for the C. And so uh, hopefully she'll like that. This is uh, Ovens uh, Net Natural Park. Uh, we, we as a family went there to visit this summer. So just the waves crashing there. So hopefully she'll like that of the sea in Nova Scotia. The next one I have is going off to Beijing, China. And uh, she is a young woman who, uh, she has a major in communication, currently working uh, with public relations specialist, and she likes to swim and she likes sports. Um, she likes uh, English music, folk and rock. She's very interesting to, uh, to learn about uh, postcards from our areas, and uh, she prefers regional characteristics, city scenes, airplanes, trains, sea, sunrises, sunsets, natural landscapes, street markets, people, skyline, bridge, and maps. So there's lots of things to choose from there. So what I chose is this train. She says she likes trains. She likes lo local postcards. So this train is actually in our local museum um, uh, called Resurgo. And uh, so I will write her about that. 
So she will get one, one about trains, one about local, and give her information about the city. So those two will go out as my registered cards. I've also chosen a few cards to send out. I'm not telling you who, but uh, here's some ones going out. So we have this card going out. It's of uh, the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem. So if you've seen my video previous, um, before Christmas, I got a bunch of vintage postcards from Israel, or of Israel, that uh, came from my mother-in-law. So this one is going out. I also have this card, which is uh, the, uh, the French version of Around the World in 80 Days. I don't know how many of you are watching the mini-series that's coming out now that stars David Tennant, but it is really good. It's Around the World in 80 Days, or a remake. Uh, it's been remade several times, but the latest uh, version has David Tennant, who played uh, one of the Doctors, uh, if you're into Doctor Who, and has many other great roles too. But uh, Around the World in 80 Days is heading out. Speaking of the museum that had the train in it, here is a postcard that's heading out that is a picture of the museum here in Moncton. So I'm going to send that. It's extra long, so you can see the other postcard. This is a high one. And the Around the World in 80 Days, I'll grab that one again, is the same width but extra long. So that's interesting. We'll send that one out. And the last postcard that I'm going to show you that I'm sending out today is this uh, vintage or vintage style of a Cadillac ad. And uh, so this is going off to someone that uh, I hope will enjoy it. So let me write all those up and then we'll get back again here shortly. We'll talk a bit about them and I may even walk down to the uh, post box to mail them and you can see the snow. I'm going to have to get bundled up for that one, but we'll see. Okay. Let's uh, go mail these postcards. They're all done up. I've got my Pittsburgh Steelers hat on today because it is playoff football and they're playing Kansas City Chiefs. So uh, it's American football. This may be our last game, but uh, we'll cheer on and best thing can happen, hopefully. Look at all this snow. It's crazy. At least I had postcards I could write that kept me busy today. Put them in here, and away they go. All right, well, you guys stay safe. I can see my neighbors over there. He's shoveling out his back deck. See it flying over the edge there? Let's see if he does it again. Wait for a second. There it goes. So he's got a pile of stuff. He's trying to get off his back deck. Let's just look around here quick. quick. Anyways, keep warm everybody, stay safe. What Polo? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs>